Alright guys, it is the day after we wrapped this project up and uh, just met with the homeowner, went over everything and pretty tickled how this project turned out. Good morning. So we just got done kind of getting these boulders tweaked into place right here. So all of these boulders had been kind of rough set into place and then we were tweaking that one this morning. Got that into place and then once we had all these into place, we spent a bunch of time getting all this grade built up in the back here. Got a boulder back there, boulder right here, found a cool stump uh, right there. And so that back machine work, see the point where the point where we're trying to get to is to get all the machine work done in this back corner. So we can flip this liner forward and begin working on this next half of the stream um, and work our way out of out of here with that machine work. So next, uh, we're getting ready to shoot a grade. Right there's the floor of the stream bed after our first waterfall series there. And I wanna see where we're at in relation to the uh, concrete patio, which would dictate the water level in our pond. Cause I wanna make sure that I don't keep coming down uh, with more waterfalls and end up having a measly little four or six inch waterfall into the pond. I wanna have a, a significant eight to 10 inch minimum waterfall into the pond, maybe even more if we can get it. But I have to kind of check that stuff as we're going here because we're building this thing backwards, which is uh, a little challenging, but we're figuring it out. It's not that big of a deal. All right, get me a reading on that patio there. Okay, then go down four inches from that, which will end up right on that black knuckle every single time. Yep. <laughs> okay, so that's water level. Now, find that out here. Okay, actually, check where we are. Look here, what's the type, What's the reading on here? Like, what is that? It's Five, not... Nine and a quarter. Three, nine and a quarter. Now get a reading up here. So we got 18 inches, right? 17 inches. That means we got plenty of room for like a little four inch drop here and we'll still have a foot of drop going into the pond. We're good. We can do a little, another little ripple waterfall here. Just a four or five inch here. That's where I want to know. I want to know if I could have enough of elevation change that I could get another little four or five inch waterfall ripple in there. Or if I had to go with this stream bed level the whole way out to the pond. So that answers our question. I'm gonna flip this back, do a little excavation and get this next little waterfall done. Okay, so we got that second ripple falls kind of in place here and I already got this liner flipped back. I was gonna show you, but then I got this flipped back before I got the camera, but anyway. What I had done, we had placed this, the boulders for that second ripple falls right here. And then we were kind of eyeballing it to see where the pond excavation needs to come in to transition from the stream into the pond. And uh, it's actually gonna be sucked up in here a little tighter than I had painted out the first time, but that's cool. It's gonna look good, but that stream is gonna pretty much fall into the pond right here on this orange line right here. And right on, on this orange line right here, we have to do an overlap. And not only do we have to do an overlap, we have to do it backwards. Normally, we have the pond already dug out and we bring the, we lay the pond liner in and then we flip our stream liner in over top. This way, we already have the stream dug out and excavated and boulder set right down to this edge. And now we have to excavate the pond out, put the pond liner in first and kind of have it all wadded up there so the excavator can be close enough to reach and then flip our streamliner down in and then we'll be able to uh, go on with the rest of the build. So that's kind of the technicality of what we're working with right now. And I'll uh, try to show you a bit more about that overlap when we're actually doing it. So I'm gonna jump in the machine, dig that out, and we'll get ready to put our overlap in. So once in a while, somebody asked me how to do an overlap in a uh, pond, whether it's an overlap for extending your streamliner or whether you're transitioning from your pond to your stream, this is how you do it. So FYI, before I start explaining, I'm actually doing this one backwards. I already have the stream built and the liner back there. And uh, now we're getting ready to put the pond liner in and flip the streamliner down over it. Normally we would have this pond all built, pond liner in, and we'd fold our streamliner down in behind it, down and over it, and then keep working our way back up the stream. But because we have a single point of access here, we're going to be uh, doing it the other way. So we just finished 
excavating our first shelf for a pond here. This excavation that you see right here is gonna be our pond. What we're gonna do, we have our pond liner laying over there. We're gonna bring that pond liner in here, lay it in, it's gonna be up higher. See, water level's about right here. And the streamline, or the, I'm sorry, the pond is gonna go up over the shelf, so it's a good bit higher than the water level, so it can't leak. And once that pond liner is in there, situated nicely, not gonna move, we'll flip our streamliner down in over it, and that will, the water coming in from the stream will flow down into the pond, and because the pond liner goes up behind it higher than the water level down here, there's no way it can leak. So no seaming, no glue, no seam tape, nothing. Work smarter, not harder, huh? Got it. This is our pond liner right here. There we go. Nice and easy. I don't know what that thing weighs. I bet you it's 300 pounds. So underneath this uh, 45 mil rubber membrane liner, we're using this, uh, what we call rock pad. It's like a thick geotextile fabric, about a quarter inch thick. So now we're ready to flip our liner back. How about it, Dusty? Deej. 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 He has a brother, Dusty. I, I say Dusty half the time. Even that's not his real name, is it? Haha. <laughs> What's that? Even, that's, even Dusty is not his real name. <laughs> Our streamliner is flipped down over into the pond liner. Water will run down over this liner here. By the time it gets down here, there's no way that it can make it back up over the pond liner underneath. And that is how uh, liner overlap does not leak water with no seam, no nothing. So now, let's flip this forward a little bit so we can draw the excavator in. And we'll start setting borders for that bottom waterfall. Alright guys, working a little late today, trying to get this pond wrapped up. And uh, kind of got distracted and forgot to get my GoPros running, so rocking in the pond got missed. I'm timeline. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start setting up the borders. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start setting up the borders. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start setting up the borders. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start setting up the borders. But anyway, it's about 3 30 and we have the aquatics to put in yet. We're finishing up the graveling and stuff, the edge work, and kind of backing our way out here. Lights, mulch, all that stuff. So I'm going to set up the time lapse here quick, get this last little wrap up effort going, and uh, can't wait to plug this baby in. You can see the five falls right here at the top, all hidden in, filling already. Stream circling around down through there. And right there is the last waterfall. And we're going to be installing those stepping stones back in as they were over there. That is the skimmer over there and the water comes all the way up through here. Three inch plumbing, because we got a humdinger of a pump down there. So, gonna be good. Alright guys, it is the day after we wrap this project up and the water's still cloudy obviously but it's clearing up. You can start to see the rocks down here in the bottom and uh, just met with the homeowner, went over everything and pretty tickled how this project turned out. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm going to queue up the uh, beauty shots here in a second and uh, if you like this kind of content, hit that subscribe button because every week we're putting out a video like this and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. So Let me know if you have any questions on the build. Um, obviously we did a few things unique, you know we built the pond from, or built the water feature from the top back which is backwards from what we normally do. But yeah, any technical questions or anything you, you want to know about the project let me know and we will see you in the next one. Thanks!